Hey, you know what I do all the time? I have nightmares about past versions of myself. I, yeah, I know that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the good news about it though, is that if you always look back on the prior version of yourself and yeah. you always think of them in a critical sense, hopefully it means that you're always growing, you know? So it's like looking back here versus like up here. You know, it's like, it's a positive. If you think of it that way. I, yeah. yeah. Do you see it? I do. I do. I'm thinking there's, I think there's ways to grow and have a positive uh, reflection on, upon your past self as well. Oh. Probably. The only, the only problem is for the camera, you did that backwards, so it just looks like mm -hmm. a chart of your decline. <laughs> My decline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There this, you go. That, that, that's <laughs> really what you don't, you don't want to be looking back at like, I peaked. That was it. That's no, worse. Yeah, I will tell you what, when we were children, I think the way that mom comforted me about the cool kids in high school well, she would say, they just peaked in high school. It's okay. It's yeah. okay. They're just peaking That's in it. high school. You and definitely did not peak in high school. I internalized <laughs> it and I was like, shall not peak too soon. <laughs> shall not peak too soon. If anything, I'm going to try and valley now. <laughs> Let me go ahead and bottom right out. Bottom right out. Let me say a whole bunch of stuff that's totally inappropriate. <laughs> but people won't know that I'm just saying. <laughs> that was vile. Jeez, Ben. <laughs> hey, brother, riddle me this, viewers. Which one of us knows more about Tom Riddle? Wow, did Chat GBT write that? No, I came up with that all by myself. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's Thank pretty you. good. I love yeah. it. I love it. All right, guys, let's dive on in. In case you guys are new to the J versus Ben format, this is how it is going to work. Quizabelle is on the Hi. other end of the camera. She's waving at us. We can see her, but you can't. She's going to be reading us today's standard 10 quiz questions, plus an additional five from our quiz masters over on Patreon. We also have Kangaroo Cat and the birthday king himself, Rick, AKA Ethan, who are also behind the camera. Yeah. And we can also see. <laughs> but you can't. But you can. Ben and I will have to answer all the questions completely from memory, but if we both have no idea, we can ask for the multiple choice, unless Kangaroo Cat thinks the answers are too easy, and then it's, <gasps> then, then we're, it's too bad. I did do that last time. It's yes. true, that's true. That, true. that has happened. There's it been has. a precedent set, yeah, I know. and so now- we can have, the, the multiple choice can be vetoed. Yeah. We can change <laughs> Kangaroo Cat's name to the Arbiter of Choice. Oh. Oh. I don't know that I like that. <laughs> I know, it does. <laughs> I was like, hmm. As somebody who is like well known for not being able to make decisions, I don't like that. That kind of makes it funnier though. As somebody who's recently been playing Halo 2, I love it. I know. You said the Arbiter, and I'm like, oh, I'm like all in Halo. Halo. Yeah. Oh, cat, cat, like one of the elites with the mouths. Oh, I really like don't that. like that. Yeah, you know, you know how Cat has four you know, jaws? Yeah. You guys are not selling this very well. You guys can't see it, but Cat is leaving the room. Yeah. yeah. Hi, guys. Cat's also a slightly amorphous being. Jaws. <laughs> what would you have your arbiter do? <laughs> yep, she just wants stealth. We're in stealth. You would know if you could see us, but you can't. Yeah. <laughs> do not waste my time with talk. Question one. What is Tom Riddle's mother's name? Oh, but can you pronounce it correctly? Yeah, exactly. Probably not. I'm I, not known for being able to do that. Yeah, no. on, the, on the count of one, two, and now. Bathilda Bagmaro. Yeah, I was gonna say, how hard is it to pronounce Bathilda Bag? <laughs> Very easy. You guys are correct. Moropi. Moropi. I think it's Moropi, but it, I I think that forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever we called it Marope. Marope. And then somebody was like, "Y'all are doing it wrong," and it was like, "Oh." But now it's become one of those things where it's like, I know it's one of them. Right. Pretty sure one of the audiobook narrators says like Marope. <laughs> like a little like like sizzle on the end of it. This is like the gif and jif kind of drum. scowl at? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's a joke like seven people get. <laughs> but he he does. Yeah. Nailed it. Nailed it. Question two: Who did Tom Riddle frame for the murder of Myrtle Warren? <laughs> oh, pretty obvious. The oh, one, I, yeah. The only. Oh, Ready? One, two, three. Hagrid, Swagrid. Betty didn't, e Betty didn't even like, you know, shout him out later, like, oh, like, sorry about that, Hagrid. <laughs> you wouldn't be talking about me, no, would you? Like in a mocking way. Oh, in a maybe he way. did. Maybe he did. He was like, sorry about that. But like, like this is you're saying this, this is, is 
This Voldemort. Voldemort. To impersonating Hagrid. Hagrid. And to him, as he's being like escorted out, they're snapping his wall and he's like, sorry about that, Hagrid. <laughs> it was me. Wow. Yeah. Do you think he was that conniving? I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he the greatest was, was, I mean, of all time. Yeah. was Voldemort conniving. <laughs> Is it? That's like his main thing. That's like a that's a theory video. Was Voldemort conniving? Yeah. <laughs> Short answer, yeah. Yeah, it turns yeah. out. It turns out. Okay. Yeah. To yeah. be quite fair, Hagrid shouldn't have had that big spider. Also it true. true. It's yeah. true. It's true. That is yeah. one of those where it's like Hagrid's like, oh, they're they're totally harmless, and it's like, well, Hagrid, I love you. Love you. Your your range mm. here, right? You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, had had Hagrid been caught with the spider without the death of Myrtle, does he just still get expelled? Maybe not expelled. Right. They're just like, we're gonna have to squish that spider. Someone <laughs> get a boot. <laughs> I can't Someone get a, a real big boot. boot. Someone get a real big boot. <laughs> it gives me the extreme heaps to imagine <laughs> squashing a spider of that size. Yeah, yeah. I don't like I agree. It. I don't feel like it would work. Yeah. It'd be yeah, like, nice try, loser. That's like bigger than a small dog. What if they tried to flush it down the girl's bathroom toilet mm. and it <laughs> came up and bit Myrtle? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. they, I feel like what they'd be yeah. like is like, ah, this boot wasn't big enough. Do we know anyone with really big feet, Hagrid? Oh, <laughs> if he had to do it? Mm, I know. I Wait, know. Hagrid's <laughs> Bigfoot? New theory. Hag Hagrid, Hagrid is, Hagrid Bigfoot. is Bigfoot. <laughs> Now it is time for our first quiz master question of the oh, day. Yeah. This question was submitted by Henry? Henry or Henri, I'm not really sure. This question was submitted by Henry or Henri, I'm not sure. Pokemonster, <laughs> Tara Walker, and Josephine, and voted on by patrons. Where in London did Tom Riddle buy the diary that eventually became his first Horcrux? Oh man, oh man, oh man. Where did he? <sighs> Big mistake. Big, huge. I think with multiple choice, I would have it. All right, it's too easy. Since yeah, I'm sorry. sorry. Where evil <laughs> diaries are us. Evil diaries are us. I didn't even hear who submitted this question. Um, um Andre, Poke right. Monster, Josephine, Tara Walker Tara as well, Tara. and voted on by patrons. It's a good old fashioned y'all. Can't forget voted on by patrons. Yes, yeah. our favorite of all. <laughs> Of y'all, of y'all. Okay, I would go multiple choice, Brother J. Uh, yeah, I will as well. Arbiter, be, of yeah. Arbiter of choice. Arbiter of choice. We get the green light so we can go ahead. That makes two of us. Was it A, a stationary shop on Tower Street, B, a secondhand store on Charing Cross Road, C, a variety store on Vauxhall Road, or D, Flourish and Blotts? Uh, oh, man. I thought it would be more obvious. I thought it would too. It's not unobvious. It's not, it's At least not, now you have just obvious. four options instead Are of everything in your mind. Are obvious? <laughs> That's a good point. Quizabelle, is that we have narrowed it down from every available word. That's true. To at least <laughs> four different options. I wasn't going to guess it. So we're, now we're at least in the zip code. I would even say I'm down to like a coin flip here. I I'm down to a coin flip as well. Yeah, down to a coin flip. All right, well, right, I picked yeah. one. Would okay, you like ready? to phone a friend? Oh, man. You someday. lose $10,000. I will, I will <laughs> add the phone a friend option if we can have like an old school like rotary phone that we have to use to call the person. You know? <laughs> like that. You're going to call one. like Seamus in London with a yeah. landline phone? Mm, yeah. Yes. That uh, won't be expensive. Who wants to be a galleonaire? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. New quiz title. You think it's the trademark coin it? Okay. Fan name called it. All right, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. I said C. I also said C. It is C. Yay! Yes. Oh man, I was like, at first I was like, Charing Cross, that's it. Then I, then I thought about it more and Vauxhall sounded more correct. Yeah. Great coin flip, guys. Sometimes I wonder how much you guys are just guessing at times like these and how much you actually know. No, this, yeah, this I know familiar. a little bit, yeah, because I think the interesting thing about it, maybe we like looked into this once upon a time, but it seemed like it would be a muggle like store. store. Yeah. And it, I always thought it was incredibly interesting that like he's got like all these, you know, Hogwarts like founder objects. Right. And 
A notebook. Uh, yeah, like a diary from a muggle shop. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But like, I think it is from a muggle shop because Harry like immediately recognizes like, that's a muggle shop. It, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. That is Three of those places are real streets in London. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, and I, one of I, them is Flourish and Blunts. Yeah. yeah. I did uh, fact check this one. And that is exactly what it says. Uh-huh. <laughs> so Harry knows. Harry place. recognizes it. He's like, wow. that's, that's a muggle shop. How about it? Yeah. Interesting. Or is like curious that it's from a model shop. Or What's up with like Harry that? having such, such an obsession over all stationary stores in London? I know. How how would Harry even know? What does he know about London? I mean, he grew there, up like, like in a cupboard, so I feel like he point. should have. He would be excited about everything. As somebody who grew up in like a house and didn't leave, well, I everything's would be excited exciting. about like going to New York City too. If I'd only ever lived under the stairs, but I don't think I could tell you like now. Wait a minute. There's a well, stationary shop on Vauxhall Road. Yeah, but if you live in a cupboard under the stairs in like Newark, New Jersey, like yeah, you you're might. more likely to know of stationary stores on yeah. Vauxhall Road. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I, that's a good. That's a good. That's point. like if that's you live point. in Newark, New Jersey, under the stairs, you'd be like, oh man, Broadway. I know where that is. Yeah, sure. Yeah, but is is Vauxhall the Broadway of London? Mm. That's one of them. Okay. Yeah. Huh. It's a big important road. Okay. A big important. Ro- okay. 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 All right. That, that are, probably does. Those it. three are all big, important roads in London. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> Got it. Look cool. at us knowing London things. There we go. At least we have somebody here to fact check <laughs> Something us. in this Godforsaken series is on Charing Cross Road. I don't remember what. I've been trying to come up with the answer to that the entire time we've been doing this question. Is, is that not where they operate to after the wedding? Well, that's that's Tottenham exactly. Court Road. Okay. That's Tottenham Court that's Road. Tottenham Court. Yeah. Yeah. Charing Cross Road might be St. Mungo's. That might be. Or that might be the street that King's Cross is on. All right, question four. What did Tom Riddle take from Morphin Gaunt after he altered his memory into believing he killed the Muggle family in Little Hag- Hangleton? If I could get through one of these questions without mispronouncing something, I would think I've peaked. Yes. Yes, indeed. I have it. Oh, Wait. I wasn't confirming. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at my answer. That was bad timing. That was bad timing. You were here first, folks. I was like, I can't believe (laughs) Ben is the one that's saying this about me right now. Of all people. Uh, I'm sorry. No, I was talking about my answer. Are you sorry about that? Sorry about that. All right, ready? Yep. Three, two, one. The ring. The pepper roll ring. It is his family ring. Yay! Look at us go, because then he's wearing it soon. In Slughorn's memory. He already had it. He was in high school. And murdered his uncle. It would have been really good if that rhymed. Yeah. <laughs> what if we exactly. took the name for school and made it Skunkle instead? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. You guys heading back to Skunkle this fall? Yes. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, we will change the dictionary per this quiz. All right. Question five. Where was the prophecy regarding Harry Potter and the Dark Lord given? The Dork Lord. The Dork Lord. Oh, I thought you were about the Dork Lord. Lord. <laughs> Lord. Dork Lord, am I right? You know, at this point, it's <laughs> it's dork? just for the memes, okay? You're welcome. I would love it if Harry was just like a straight up bullet of Voldemort with every song. What's up, nerd? Where's your nose? <laughs> Instead of that, like, let's finish this how we started, Tom. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he was just like, you're a huge dork, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and then threw him off the side of the home. You have no skills and you're a loser. <laughs> What if, as a follow-up to the Council of Dumbledores, we did the Comedy Central roast of Lord Voldemort? Oh, I, I, yes, <laughs> I love it. I like it. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. Gilderoy Lockhart's here, and so is Pete <laughs> Davidson. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. The hog's head. In. The hog's head. In. That is correct. Yeah, it is. You guys are five oh, for five. Five That's, for this five. This is the one where Trelawney's like mm, bed bugs. You never see her do any other magic, you know? Like, can she do regular wand magic? Probably not. Probably not. Plot twist, Trelawney's not even a witch. (laughs) Plot twist, Trelawney's a squib. (laughs) New theory. (laughs) That would be nuts. That would be nuts. Can squibs be seers? Hey, brother. Or Uh, maybe she she can, because I think they (laughs) says at one point she's like throwing the crystal balls down like like she's serving them like a tennis racket. You know, that's true. So she must be like wanding them down. In my head, I (laughs) always assumed she was still somehow like manually throwing them. Yeah, still just sort of like... <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, exactly. But it says serving them like a tennis ball. That's actually right. kind of a cool looking piece of magic in my head. What right? Can you imagine? An actual tennis racket, though. Just, just like, like, yeah, right. Yeah. She, 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 she just has a muggle tennis racket up in her class. <laughs> <laughs> well, if she is a muggle. This is the dream tennis. weaving. Uh, there you go. From the time I won Wimbledon. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> wow. Uh. 
<laughs> so I always knew where the ball was going to be. Yeah. <laughs> okay, our second quiz master question of the day. This question was submitted by Dola and voted on by patrons. Tom Riddle killed a muggle tramp, homeless muggle, to make which horcrux? The fact that that was in like she put, so she put quotations around muggle tramp because that is what is said in the books. Uh, I don't think that's a like politically correct thing to say anymore, but it's what's in the books. Got it. Okay. Okay. So I think she was trying to be book accurate and then say like it was a, a muggle homeless person. Parenthesis. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And not a cartoon dog. And not a cartoon dog. Yes. <laughs> that does seem like the kind yeah. of <laughs> conniving thing Voldemort would do. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, Hagrid. Ooh, a cartoon dog. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Riddle and Cruella DeVille shipped. <laughs> oh, name, what's the name of that ship? Cruella de Voldemort. <laughs> Cru- no, that's terrible. Yeah, yeah. Like, what happens and when does it happen? Yeah, happens? I think I think it's fine. I think I feel good about it. All right, you ready? Yeah. 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 Three, two, one. I said the diadem. I also said the diadem. It is the locket. The what? locket! I thought the locket oh, was... I thought it was Hepzibah Smith. <laughs> I thought it was Hepzibah Smith. Maybe that's Wasn't the that cup. the cup? Must be the it cup. It would make sense Well, he cup, gets them both you know. from her, like, yeah. and kills her. So, that's... I, know, I guess that's a good point, yeah. The diadem so. he kills an Albanian peasant. That's right. Yep, that's what it is. Uh, yeah. Okay. I really hope that's not also a How question. is that... That's not that different from a muggle so. tramp, right? So we must assume that the Albanian peasant was a wizard. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Well, I guess it sort of makes sense because we know that the diadem is in the forest of Albania. Yeah. Right? Which makes, yeah, but we didn't know that the word Albania was inside of the otherwise Albanian peasant right. answer. So. so Okay. Well, whatever. you know what? what we do you both do? missed it, so we it doesn't matter. It. Question, what are we on? Question seven. What is the first thing Voldemort does in his duel with Harry Potter in the Goblet of Fire? <laughs> Wasn't uh, that? He blows a raspberry at him. (laughs) Hey, Potter. (laughs) (laughs) That's Dork Lord. (laughs) Dork Lord strikes again. (laughs) Eric's just like, this guy? This guy. I'm sure, (laughs) y'all. You sure? I'm I'm just not even that intimidated. I know. Uh, Well, now. Now, see here, Dumbledore. Now, I'm just like. What if Voldemort was just a silly, goofy guy? <laughs> should, cut, yeah. cut the clip of. <laughs> <laughs> what is the up. first thing? So after the duel has started, um, or are like it, what is the first? How does the duel kick off? Yeah. What is what? Like set, like set the scene. Okay, there are are have pleasantries been observed? Have they? Jay doing his classic tries to ask what the answer is. I'm not trying. I'm trying to make sure that th- this is like. I feel like so often, like in high school, you'd have like a multiple choice thing, and it would be like this. Would, this feels like a, it would be on there. It'd be like, what happened first in the duel with Voldemort in the graveyard? And you'd be like, well, he makes him do this thing, but like technically the duel hasn't started. But like then that would be the answer, and you'd be like, but wait. All right. I Ready? say just give your answers. Let's see what's. Let's see Three, what you got. Three, two, one. And forces him to bow. Forces Harry to bow. Correct. It is Yay. forces him to bow with the imperious curse. Question eight. What did... Okay, whoa. Qu- question eight. What method did Tom Riddle use to kill Hepiz... No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are my beat. <laughs> You're so close. Hepzibah. This okay. could have been the moment. Okay. Hepzibah. Question eight. What <laughs> method did Tom Riddle use to kill Hepzibah Smith? Is, did I say it right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, Good cool. Job. You actually got Smith wrong. <laughs> Shut up. Um, it's it's Smith. 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 Yes. My sorry. There it's kind of like, like an exhale that comes at the end of the Smith. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's the really H. breathy. Uh, yeah. Yes. yeah very Smith breathy. Smith with nine yes. H's. I think. Are you thinking about the same thing that I'm thinking about? Yeah. Yeah. I think. I think I've got it, but. <laughs> I think yes, I've got because it. you have ways to know that that is true. It's yeah. magic. Yeah. 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 No, I haven't written anything. Oh, down yet. you I'm haven't so written sad. anything down. So I'm, I'm. Wait a second. Okay, so if I have this straight, it's brother magic that you can read each other's minds. But in that case, shouldn't you always tie forever and always? When did we establish that we can read each other's minds? Just now, brother moments magic. ago. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> Literally, like magic. three okay. seconds ago. Also, they mostly do tie. Maybe that could be the name of our our uh, our memoir. Brother mostly magic. magic. Brother magic. Okay, bro- yeah, brother That's magic. Not bad. Pretty good. <laughs> to be fair, it is rare that one of you wins by like nine. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Okay, so I think I'm worried, but I'm curious I think because I'm, I'm not sure. You. you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> poison. Yeah, poison. It is poison. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's like, I know he he frames Hokey Hokey. for poisoning her, but like, did he actually poison her himself? This this <clears throat> must all but prove because I never think about that. <clears throat> I always think about the the Myrtle death that creates the diary Horcrux. Yeah, and it's the Basilisk that actually kills Myrtle. Right, and that's always like one of those like weird things where it's like, well, does the person creating the Horcrux actually have to like have done the kill? And it's like clearly not. Clearly not, because he like yeah. pours it in here and gives it to her. Yeah, it's like, it but, almost but feels... he arranged it. He did arrange. It's like it, the yes. magic knows. The magic knows. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So wait, are you all posing that you think that Hokey was the one that actually poisoned her, or no, and no, Tom forced her to, or the the curiosity no. in my mind was he he frames Hokey for poisoning, and it's kind of like one of those things where it's like there's not like an autopsy or something right, like that yeah. that's like oh yeah, it turns out she was poisoned. Yeah, um, and it's all like Dumbledore. Hang on, you know what? It feels like a good time to go research some stuff. <laughs> Don't you right. guys think so? We got we got solve some answers. Hey y'all, welcome to the Scenic Route, where, as of two weeks ago, we occasionally find ourselves in the cozy sound room, comforted by the warm and gentle glow of one of the latest candles from our Wizard and Candle Club. As you can see, this month we're paying homage to our podcast and favorite entrance within the castle, the Gryffindor. I like to think this door is made of quality, hand-carved mahogany, but somehow its scent would reflect the password of the day lending credence to the tendency to create, for lack of a better description, delectable passwords. And as such, the scent is invitingly sweet, yet tangy, reminiscent of the lemon candies that dissolve on your tongue, leaving behind a lingering zestiness. With each breath, you're transported to a serene oasis where worries melt away and serenity takes hold. If you'd like to experience this cheerful aroma for yourself, simply head on over to wizardandcandles.com and save 10% each month when you subscribe. Hey y'all, as you can see, I've switched into my Harry Potter gear because I have an important announcement here at the Scenic Table. I'm gonna tell you all about our upcoming tour. That's right. Ben and I are hitting the road with our new podcast, Through the Gryffindor. We are going to be doing live shows in Boston, New York City, Philadelphia, and Washington, DC. And at each location, we'll have like meet and greet upgrades. If you wanna come like meet us in person, I can't wait to meet you guys, but tickets are going pretty fast. Like in DC, is is actually already sold out. I see you, DC. Each night we'll be doing a live recording of the podcast, but if you like Jay vs. Ben, good news, we're also doing some trivia and answering questions from all of you. Which again, we would absolutely love to meet you guys in person. So if you're interested in coming and seeing through the Gryffindor, there are links to all the events in the description down below. See you there. Question nine, our third Quizmaster question of the day. This question was submitted by Ferocious Pop-Tart and Geekbox and voted on by patrons. What was the nickname, wait, what <laughs> can I read? Are, are you doing it on purpose? <laughs> no, it's literally like I'm well, reading the words and not even it. comprehending what it says because I'm focused so much on not saying it wrong. <laughs> so like after I read the question, I have to then read the question and comprehend what I'm asking you all. This question was submitted by Ferocious Pop-Tart and Geekbox and voted on by patrons. What nickname does Lee Jordan call Tom Riddle on Potter Watch? Not the Dork Lord, right? <laughs> <laughs> it should have been. Though. Oh, but it should have been the oh. Dork Lord. Oh, that would have been such a burn. That would that really would have been great if they were just like sitting. That's like that's up there with like you know poo. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I have yeah. I have a guess. I don't feel great about it, but it's a guess. Three, two, one. Chief Death Eater. Oh, it is Chief Death Eater. Dang it! Boom. Death Eater number the Chief. one. Dork Lord number one. At least he's first. Question 10. Whose rabbit did young Tom Riddle hang from the rafters at Wool's Orphanage? Um, Class for me. I got through that whole you sentence. Did so good. I'm so whole sentence, you. first take. A round of applause for Quizabelle. We did it. My one job I'm very bad at. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you could go A, B, C, D on this. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll go A, B, C, D. I say nice things about you in these quizzes. I said, and I quote, Ethan is a great editor. Ethan's a great editor. I did say that. I've heard it before. He is a great editor. Ethan is a great when editor. Did, what? He's, what? he's being mean to me. Oh, he yeah. said I'm not good at a lot of things. 
I said, don't sell yourself short. You're bad at lots of things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's a good joke. That's, that's, a, a, good that's, joke. A, that's a good joke. That's a good But also not true. Yeah. A, is it Bobby Shugs? B, Jerry Smith? C, Billy Stubbs? Or D, Tommy Shelby? Did I pronounce Smith right that time, guys? You, you nailed it. That one okay, you got great. right. Okay, thanks. I know who I want it to be. <laughs> All right. What a J wants. Shugs is what spelled S C H U G Y. No, not Y. S. Now I've got the S. <laughs> oh gosh. I got the quiz about. It's contagious. I think there's one thing that's <clears throat> obvious, which is that none of us have peaked. Hmm. All right. Case in point is this is. <laughs> we certainly this. can't read. <laughs> yeah. Everything is going exactly this way <clears throat> right now. All right, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. I said C. I said C too. It is C. Yeah. Yes. But man, Billy I wish Shugs. it was Bobby Shugs. <laughs> what is, is, is Bobby Shugs a, a reference? I think it's- No, oh. Tommy Shelby is the reference. Shugs was just an, I, I looked up very British last names and ah. that popped up. Shugs. I thought okay. it was just a reference. Ah, Shugs. <laughs> Shugs. <laughs> if you'd asked me, Ethan, what popular book series is Billy Stubbs from, I would have said that he was a character in the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Mm, yeah. uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. yes, he does. Yeah. I'm being completely honest what with you. It is much giving that. Yeah. Yes. Good pronunciation of honest. That guy's right. name was Billy Tope. Billy yeah. Tope. Billy Tope. Because it's yeah, color. Everybody's Stubbs name a color. had yeah. a color. Stubbs and a color. It is a barbecue sauce, though. It yeah. is, yeah. yeah. Billy Tope? No, no. Stubbs. Stubbs. Oh, okay. Stubbs. Also yeah. a really painful thing to happen to your toe. Question 11. In Professor Slughorn's memory. Is that a wiener, <laughs> dog? A wiener dog? I drew a wiener dog. <laughs> it needs floppy ears. My she favorite part is how accurate it is. <laughs> uh, it doesn't need a snout. Oh, yeah. Oh. There you go. It's okay. a wiener dog. Nice. There you go. Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. Ethan's a great editor. Oh, wait, hold on. Jay Strong one, too. Trying to one up the wiener dog? It oh, oh no. it's got a bun and everything. It's got a bun. Still no snow. Yeah. There's really no way to show my face for the rest of this episode. Yeah. So. Do like Don't worry, right? none of us have peaked. <laughs> none of us have peaked. There's Should I draw time. one now? Yeah, yours would be the best. <laughs> we know that. False. False. Black bear. <laughs> Did you see mine? It was really good. I, yeah. I'm sorry, best is entirely a subjective statement. <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> best like this super mug. Wow. Hey. Available, Available now, now at Crowdbuzzbrookandall.com. Oh! Oh! got it. Question 11. Question 11. In Professor Slughorn's memory, which professor's retirement did Tom Riddle ask about? Mm -hmm. Don't know where you get your information from, boy. I got, you got news, it. Ben. The you answer got is not. It. <laughs> yeah. Is it, so the answer is not slowly is it leaking nervous air mattress. Wheeze? <laughs> is it almost dead balloon? <laughs> is I it a long fart. <laughs> 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 I did write a whole bunch of Fs, but I'll delete it just in case everybody <clears throat> mistakes it for the answer. Yeah, you know, Professor <laughs> Josh made a long fart. <laughs> <laughs> he taught arithmetic. All right, are we ready? Yeah. All right, one, two, three. I said Mary Thought. Technically, it's Mary Thought. Oh, I think oh, we got man. it. But close enough. I think you we got, got it. You want to sure. count it as both of us? I think we got yeah. Because yeah, yeah, okay. I said Thought. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> Mary Thought. Was, was that like, just y'all not understanding British accents? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, this is a Jim Dale problem. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, we're, we're all on the same page. This is fine. All right, question 12, our fourth Quizmaster question of the day. This question was submitted by Law Ninja and voted on by patrons. How many years after the death of Hepzibah Smith did Tom Riddle return to Hogwarts to ask for a job? How many years after the death of Hepzibah Smythe? <laughs> How many all there? 36. That'd be way too many. Be way too many years. Give a free hint. It's not 36. Not 36. Counted them myself. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Okay. Let's 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 do some math. My mind. If you would ask me this question, not in this format, I would have told you we don't know. I kind of agree. I think. Yeah. Is there an obvious yeah. event that we're going off of? Because is it not? We've struggled with. His like his just his like disappearance. There's like a 15 year gap yeah. where he's like not really he's doing not much. Really doing much. Yeah, and we don't have doing. we don't have great timetables to work off of. I think this, this one I did 
check. You did. Okay. And I'm pretty sure Dumbledore says something like, it let been. me show you a memory from 10 years later or something along those lines. I see. Okay. Okay. So not 10 or 36. Correct. Okay. We've narrowed in. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Ben is literally that math meme where the, the <laughs> yeah. math starts like showing up all around her head and yep. she looks very concerned. Okay. I have an answer. Okay. Ready? Exactly. Yeah. One, two, three. 10. I said 13. It is 10. Boom! Yeah, that was my bad. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even realize I said it until you said something. I was like, what are you talking about? Dosh garned it all. <laughs> Okay. I'm not on my A-game today, sorry guys. All right, question 13. When Voldemort tried to kill Harry with the Avada Kedavra curse in the Ministry of Magic, what did Dumbledore send to protect Harry? What if this was the second time before Anglia showed up to save the day? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> that would be amazing. I have, I have an answer that I think is correct. Okay. But I, I could be mistaking it with something else entirely. So, oh, no. ready? Three, two, one. I said a golden witch. I said a gold statue head. It is a golden statue. So I I feel like. So yeah. Mm, I think it's actually, a, it's a statue without a head specifically, but I will give it what? to you for a gold statue. Yeah, seriously, it says like without a head. Is it is it the case that he uses the head as the port key? Could to be. Return? Right, yeah, the head gets blasted off. Okay, because I was trying earlier. to remember, also is Fox in this battle? Fox also, yes, yeah, swallows in Nevada Kedavra as well. Okay, yeah. Question 14. Cool. Other than Avada Kedavra, what are Voldemort's last words? Okay, okay. And it's not just Avada Kedavra again. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> He's just like rapid fire. Avada Kedavra, Avada Kedavra, Avada Kedavra. Yeah! It's also not just like, ah! Yeah. Ben's writing. He's got thought. I don't know if it's right. It's a guess. I feel like I need to take some chances here. Ah, uh, this is like, I know, I'm like trying to replay this conversation in my head. I know, yeah, it's like, I, I know so many pieces of dialogue. I know. Yet again, we see the thinking posture of the Carlin brothers. Jay <laughs> hunched over the table, head in hands. Ben leaning back, looking at something. They, specifically, uh, there's a pipe, a round pipe that goes <coughs> to a square hole in our ceiling. Oh, that's where you look when you're thinking? That's where I look at, yeah. Oh, okay. Are right, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. And then I will attend to Draco. It is, I can attend to Draco Malfoy. So yes! I would say that Jonathan yeah. gets that Jay's one. probably a little bit more close. But they do say that, we, he does say that. <laughs> It's not a fact check, I promise, Kat. I'm yeah. just genuinely curious how close I was. You I are, guess. you're very close. What That's one of the wrong line? answers. And I pulled all the wrong he answers said, from uh, the last like, like, skill sentence. Alone or something okay, that okay. Says, the last few sentences that he says, and that is one of them. It's yeah. you, you no longer have the Phoenix wand. We duel on skill alone. And after I've killed you, I can attend to Drake. Oh, it is really the same sentence. It's like there's like an ellipsis that separates. It. Oh yeah. man, yeah. man, this is gonna be this is gonna suck at the end of the year for the year long challenge because I feel like I'm missing by such narrow. Yeah. Man, that was that was a good. That is a very good question. That is a good question. Thank you. Fantastic. I can't believe either of you pulled either of those lines out. If I'm being honest, <laughs> that was very man. impressive. Honestly, is it in the same like quotation mark? Yeah. It, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's in the same like paragraph. That sucks. Yeah. Okay. All right. Put me out of my misery. All right. For our fifth quiz master and final question of the day, this question was submitted by Tara Walker and voted on by patrons. As Voldemort approached the Potter house on the night he killed James and Lily, what did he see James doing through the window? James was calling him the Dork Lord. Yeah. In front of his son. <laughs> yeah, some dorky lord wants to come kill us, son. Anyways, go pet the cat. Okay. I think this is right. Play with your hovery broomstick. That's your godfather that you won't meet for a very long time, Bob, for you. You ready? Yeah. Okay, three, two, one. Making smoke rings? It's making bubbles with his wand. Oh, bubbles. It's making puffs of colored smoke erupt from his wand. <sighs> so, I don't know. I feel like yours is closer. Mine's, I think mine's closer, but I don't know if it's... It feels like a specifically different act. Puffs. 
Well, if you're arguing for you to not get the point, we could just. Not, I mean, <laughs> look, it's for you to deliberate. You know. I know. This is. I. I mean. I think he deserves it. I think that's that's there. I wish it wasn't the case because this is a difficult defeat. Okay. Well, Especially because once again, I don't feel like I was terribly wrong. No, yeah, it was very. You close. got ten like, questions right. Like, uh, I know, but I, did I miss three? Um. Did I lose by three? You lost by. If four. we're giving if we're giving Jonathan that point, then you lost by four. Oh, yeah. that's gonna oh, suck. Woo! Man! Well, well done, honestly. Thank you so that, much. Thank honest, you so much. Shout out to Kangaroo Cat for uh, a quiz well writ. Indeed. And shout out to Quizabelle for all of the fantastic <laughs> and completely flawless reading. <laughs> <laughs> I actually prefer your rendition, to be honest, right? and, and the original. Thank yeah. you. And to Rick for being here. <laughs> yes. Having a birthday. So, we, the lulls. we mentioned it at the very beginning. It is, in fact, uh, Ethanser's birthday. So everybody be sure to wish him a happy, happy birthday. Yes. Happy in birthday! The towel section Today is my 31st birthday. Yes, I'm officially Woo! dead. <laughs> <laughs> and now we need to give a huge thank you to these quiz masters who support us over on Patreon. Shout out to Andre, Pokemonster, Tara Walker, Josephine Dola, Ferocious Pop-Tart, Geekbox, Lawn Ninja, and voted on by patrons. Nice. If you two would like to try to stump us in a future episode of J vs. Ben, you can do so by heading on over to patreon.com slash supercarlinbrothers and selecting the Quizmasters tier. Thanks again to all of our Quizmasters over on Patreon. <laughs> As for always, guys, be sure to let us know how you did on the quiz in the towel section down below. And if you want some more Harry Potter from action from us, check out this video right here where we answer, could there be two Voldemorts? Who knows? Until next time, bye!